All stars are on the road, but they haven't arrived yet. Shall we move on to the next star on the road? When Cristina came to Portugal, she really wanted to be a prima ballerina, being the dreamer that she is. But starting school had a strong impact on her. I had a very passionate primary school teacher who made me want to be a teacher. And by the time Cristina went to the seventh grade, her English teacher was so inspiring that she wanted to be just like her. Even though she has been teaching for more than two decades, she still feels there's so much to learn. I know I am part of their lives, and I think it is a lifelong learning experience. Christina has the superpower to understand what teenagers enjoy, what they like to read, watch and listen to. I feel young, and we have fun together while they're learning. OK, enough of Christina. Let's discover Beverly's story. I'm sure you won't regret it. Beverly didn't grow up wanting to be a teacher. I wanted to become a zoologist because I love elephants. But I fell in love with the French-Canadian language and culture on a visit to Quebec. She honed her translation skills at a bilingual university in Toronto and went on her first big adventure, a year of living and studying in the beautiful city of Montreal. And I loved the experience, so much so, that after graduation I set off on an even bigger adventure. I made my way from Toronto to Paris. It was there that she got her first teaching qualification and set foot in her first classroom. And she's been in the classroom ever since. Cupcakes, chocolate. On her journey to Portugal, she discovered the power of telling stories. Telling stories, eye to eye, mind to mind and heart to heart, really engages our students and builds connections with them. With a once upon a time from around the world, she has the superpower to take her students with her on adventures without ever leaving the classroom. But we're not done yet. We're missing a person to complete this amazing All-Stars team. 